it's Benedict and welcome to my channel. I created this gorgeous multiple layered staggered swipe absolute gorgeous colors on a 50 by 100 centimeter canvas which is 20 by 40 inches. My colors was um, deep turquoise and aqua green um, a gold burnt umber and a hint of beige as well as some titanium white in this video i'm going to share with you my pouring medium i use a glue and a water mix and i'm also going to show you how i mix up the white paint for my base layer i'm going to share that ratios with you and show you exactly how i mix it but let's start with the pouring medium. I use a Koki white craft glue that is available from your crazy store. If your crazy store in your area, if you live in South Africa, does not have the Koki glue in stock, please ask your store manager to order the Koki glue for you. If you're having trouble finding it in your area, please email me my email is in the description box below and i'll be able to assist you to access this um koki glue i mix 800 grams of the koki glue with 200 grams of ordinary tap water if you live in an area that has a high concentration of chemicals in the tap water or what we call a hard water area then please use distilled water if your tap water is good enough to drink then you can go ahead and use your tap water so i've um i've poured the 800 grams of glue into my mixing bowl and now i'm going to add the 200 grams of ordinary tap water and then I'm going to mix that up really well with a spatula and um, save it in a container for when I show you how I mix my white base coat for this beautiful painting. So 200 grams of water is what you need to add to your glue. You're going to mix it up very, very well. I mix this together for about one and a half minutes before i decant it and i pour it into a storing uh, bottle um, and i use it as i need it for different um for different pours as i mix up my colors this is my pouring medium i have been using this pouring medium since 2019 and it has given me consistently good results I don't have any cracking or crazing and my paintings as well as the paintings of my participants in my class and I've done over 150 pouring classes already since 2020 and this is the only pouring medium that I use so don't hesitate to use the white craft glue I have I can vouch and I can promise you that the Koki glue is a good glue to use as a pouring medium. You will not be disappointed. So I store my glue in a, an opaque um, white bottle. You don't want it to get direct sunlight. So keep it in a cool dry place when you're storing it. And you can mix your acrylic paints with this pouring medium. For, um, for good results so let me show you how I'm going to mix up my base color for this painting I'm going to need at least uh, about a 500 um, grams of mixed paint with pouring medium but I mix it in increments of 40 grams of the paint 80 grams of the pouring medium that we've just mixed and I add 20 grams of water. So one part paint, two parts pouring medium, and a half a part of water. 
to bring it to the consistency that you need for a swipe. Now the white paint that I'm using is quite a, a fluid paint. It's a very thin acrylic paint. So I don't add a lot of water. If I were using a tube paint, I would then have added a little bit more water to bring it to a fluid consistency required by the swipe technique. So 40 grams of paint, 80 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of water. Now I first mix the paint together with the pouring medium. Make sure that it's nice and smooth before I add the water. I don't combine all three at the same time. Um, and I do this because sometimes the paint reacts and you'll get clumping and um, I don't want to be having to, you know, strain my paint because I'm having a lot of clumps. So I make sure that it's nice and smooth and then I add my water. So I'm going to be pouring in 20 grams of water and you can follow that on the scale. So if this is the first time for you watching my channel, thank you so much for being here with me, for taking the time to view my videos. I have so many tutorials that you can follow. If you're new to pouring, you'll find so many tutorials easy to follow with clear instructions on my site. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. If you're back and you're part of my pouring family, you know that I'm delighted, always delighted to have you with me. So thank you for your time and your viewership. I'm, um, I'm stirring up that uh, paint now and then I'm going to pour it into a, another container which... Um, I'm going to build up on that container because eventually I need to have around uh, 500 uh, grams of mixed up paint. So I mix up my paint as I've mentioned in small batches. I could easily have done 200 grams of paint with 400 grams of pouring medium and 100 grams of water but I don't do that. I prefer to mix up my paints in very small quantities so that I am assured that I have the correct consistency every time. So once I fold up my um, my larger container with the base color um, you will notice that the paint is very fluid it doesn't leave a trace there's no mound but there's still resistance if you move your stick your stir stick from side to side it looks and feels almost like um, thick uh, dessert cream, pouring cream. Um, such a nice experience just to be mixing up paint. I always find it so therapeutic. So I'm going to set aside the scale for now. Um, I've already got my colors mixed up and I'll share that with you once again. But I wanted to show you the results as well that I get from using the glue and water pouring medium. You can see that the colors of my paints, they remain vibrant. Um, it doesn't lose its sheen. If I'm adding a silicone because I want cells, that forms very easy with this glue and water pouring medium. I don't have a challenge with getting cells in my pores. It's, um, it works well on wood. That was a wooden tray. This is a canvas. Any technique you can do with the glue and water mix. Apart from the bloom. Bloom does not use glue and water people. It uses house paint. So don't use glue and water in your blooms. But for any other of the pouring techniques that there is. This is a swipe and I've blown some flowers on top of that. And once again, this is a straight um, pour. It's beautiful. Um, on a wood round, it uh, works fantastically well as well. And look how vibrant those colors are. The colors do not lose their sheen or their shine. Um, they don't lose their vibrancy. It's absolutely perfect for any type of pour. But let's get down to the business of the day. This is my painting for today and my swiping tool 
is going to be a flexible plastic. Um, I love the flexible plastic because it's reusable. I'm using a puppy training pad or a linen saver. Um, and that will serve as my um, sheet which I'm going to clean off my swiping tool. So every time I swipe a color over my white base, I'm going to clean it off on that linen saver that I have in front of the canvas. So um, let me flood the canvas now. I'm going to pour um, half of that container onto the canvas and I'm going to leave some of that paint um, in case I'm going to need extra paint for the base color. You see there, I'm leaving that paint aside, letting it sit aside and then I'm going to spread the other half um, across the canvas. Now the secret to a successful swipe is how much paint you have on your canvas. I am spreading that paint evenly across the canvas. It's a very, very, very thin layer. It's just covering the canvas. There's no puddling or pooling of excess paint. You just want to cover your canvas. And so there's a very thin, smooth layer that I've torched to get all the air bubbles. And now it's time to swipe. And my first color um, is a deep turquoise. And these are local brands that I've, I use different brands of paint. I've got some Bastion, some Dala, some Zalcraft, some Dela Rowney, um, different brands of paints in this uh, painting. And they all work well with a glue and water pouring medium. You don't need fancy, expensive pouring mediums to create a stunning uh, painting in fluid art. So um, the, the next color that I've laid down is the Naples yellow. And then I'm adding a burnt umber. I am enthralled with this, um, with this color combination. And if you have any other combinations in your mind that you'd love me to try with this technique then I'd be so happy for you to leave your comments in the description box below please in the comments box below leave me your ideas for a color combination that you would like to see me do on this big canvas on a 50 by 100 centimeter canvas I'd be very happy to do the experiment for you and then we can both enjoy the painting um, and share it with everyone who comes by and watches the channel and I will also give you a huge shout out on the channel if I use your color combination so let's do this together so as I'm going to continue um, laying down the colors so I've got the deep turquoise, I've done the Naples yellow, I've done the burnt umber, I've also added metallic gold. And this color that I'm swiping now is the aqua green, beautiful aqua green. And um, I'm going to just continue with this painting and I hope that you will enjoy the process with me um, as I layer color by color, as I stagger the swipes as I do multiple layers on this canvas to create a phenomenal outcome that I am extremely pleased with. Let me know in the comments what you think of the final result and do enjoy the rest of the video. I'm so happy that you could join me today. So thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for watching. Until the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.